The next speaker is a Norwegian entrepreneur and patent inventor with four startups and trade sales and one IPO behind him. He founded Meldwater News, a B2B media search engine company, offering business intelligence services which has now grown into the Meltwater Group worldwide successful media intelligence platform with 50 offices uh, on six continents. Innovator, serial entrepreneur, meet and welcome, Jorn Lisinga. So hello everyone, my name is Jorn Lisinga. Um, yeah, so today I will give a speech that's called, slightly provocatively, the unfair advantage of the new boardroom. Uh, I can talk very shortly about myself first. I started out as a research scientist in artificial intelligence, became accidentally an entrepreneur. I've been working in the tech space uh, since I was 20. Okay, so today I have three propositions. And the first one is that I believe that the way companies will be run will change. My second proposition is how decision making is done will also change. And my third proposition is that the way boards are run and operated will also change. And in order to get you why I get you to the point why I believe that's the case, I will give shortly a background of the company, shortly a background of our vantage point and explain why we see this development. Okay, so Meltwater. Meltwater is a company that you probably never heard about. It's a very well kept secret, but it's actually the global leader in online news and social media analytics. So you probably hear a lot about companies that do social media analytics for you and so on. But Meltwater, coming out of Norway, founded in 2001. Back then there wasn't so much social media, but we started with online news. It's been a company that's been bootstrapped we built a company on $15,000. And we are now currently headquartered in San Francisco. But as a company, we are a truly global business. We have more than 23,000 corporate clients. We have 50 offices across six continents. And we are more than 1,000 employees. And we started out very humbly. And we started out very humbly. And our first address was actually called Shack 15. And we thought that was very um, apt for a scrappy startup. And our initial funding capital was only $15,000. Our product vision was really that there is starting to become so much information on the internet. And it's too difficult to manually mine and manually keep track of all that information. So you really need software to do that. And our product vision was that when executives and decision makers come to work in the morning, when they have a normal cup of coffee, within seconds, we are going to give them an update on what happened in the world in the last 24 hours. What did people say about you and your brand? What happened with your customers? Maybe something happened with one of your customers, maybe some of them are in, have tr uh, trouble, maybe some of your clients were uh, about to be acquired. Uh, and of course, what happens in your general industry, competitive information, etc. And our aspiration was to take all that external information and help executives and deci decision makers to make, make better and more informed decisions. Fundamentally, we are, for lack of a better word, a big data company. The insights are really drawn from a technical platform that every day mine and analyze hundreds of millions of documents. And every day we do actually two trillion search. And uh, the pipeline is very simple. We start with all sorts of content, news and social, and this need to be captured, it needs to be cleaned, enriched. We have a proprietary search engine, and of course, a real-time analytics. And starting off in 2001, our services were fundamentally, you know, digital news clippings. Think Google Alert. Google Alert on steroids, if I may. But then it evolved over the years. And as we discovered that people were interested in news and the latest news, we discovered that people found even more value than single use items in themselves. And what we really concluded 
was the dealer action in the business or tracking leading performance indicators? So our real-time analytics help companies understand the brand perception. And brand perception can be measured and tracked in many ways, but it's much more important than just a marketing metric. It's actually fundamentally a leading performing indicator that can help you understand how your company is going to do in the future compared to your competitors. And same thing, of course, with customer feedback. Customer feedback is more than just metrics that is relevant for the customer, um, customer support organization. In its core, it's fundamentally a leading performing indicator that can help you understand how well or how poorly you're going to do in the future. And there are a number of ways you can continue to, to analyze leading performance indicator. Share a voice, of course. How strong are your brand? How strong are you? How present are you compared to your competitors in key markets or in key demographic? So from there, we have helped companies from all over the world. There are more than 23,000 co corporate clients. So you know, I usually say that if you mention 100 brands, chances are at that at least 70% of them are clients of Meltwater. So we help companies like Apple, Intel, IBM, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and so on, understand not only the brand, but leading performance indicators. And what you see in the market is an increased shift in focus from internal data to external data. And internal data, of course, is mining all the wealth of information that your systems are aggregating. Your CRM system, your sales system, your ERP system, and so on. And of course, that is very, very valuable. And there's a big industry out there. And any executives and companies out there are very rigorous about mining data. But when they say they mine data, they fundamentally think of their internal systems. They use BI systems, they use dashboards to keep track of their um, metrics. But fundamentally, when you mine internal data, fundamentally what you do is that you mine lagging performance indicators. And what we see is that companies increasingly are focusing more externally. And why? Because externally you can see events unfold in real time. And externally there are all sorts of business signals that you can track that continuously give you information on where the world is going. Information about yourself and information about your competitors. And that is fundamentally leading performance indicator. And simply put, you can say mining internal data, internal systems, is like trying to drive your car looking in the rear view mirror. Whereas mining external data is focusing on the road in front of you trying to understand where the road is going, where it's turning, where there are bumps in the road. And the importance of this is just escalating. The importance of external data is escalating simply because the amount of information externally is growing so exponentially. And I'm sure that you have seen this quote, but I thought it was a staggering quote by uh, Eric Schmidt. And basically, his, what he said was that at least it's claim, and I'm sure that's correct. Every two days now, we create as much information as we did from the dawn of civilization up until 2003. That is absolutely staggering when you think about the amount of information that is produced today. And this amount of information that is produced is ac just accelerating. And some information is produced intentionally to go out there and promote things, and some information is not um, produced intensely, and it's a sum of the activities that you do. And I would argue that in this day and time, whenever you make a small move, whenever you move around in the world as an individual or as a company, you leave lots of digital breadcrumbs. You leave lots of breadcrumbs telling, telling everyone else about your intentions or what you're about to do. And if you think that from a company perspective, what kind of breadcrumbs are you leaving? There are lots of them. If your executive is connecting with other executives on LinkedIn, there are 
not so interesting, potent uh, intent that you can discover by that. If a company, a fast growing company, is starting to connect with a lot of VCs, that's probably obvious that they're in, in, in fundraising mode. But we can be also focusing on the more daily activities that company do. Every job posting that you, that you are pushing out there says something about your intention. When you bid for advertisement for a certain keyword, you show, your, you show an, an in intent. And if you take all of those digital breadcrumbs and connect the dots across different data types, you get an incredibly valuable uh, insight. And I believe fundamentally that this is the reason why decision making is changing. Company decision making needs to change as the world around us is changing and changing very fast. And I think decision making is fundamentally changing in key, three key aspects. Number one, you incorporate new data. You incorporate data that you didn't have before. You incorporate external data that is added into the decision process. And timing, decisions are moved from after the fact to the point when events and, uh, are, are evolving. And thirdly, a lot of your decision making is not based on internal data, it's actually based on benchmarking. Because in real time today, you can do an incredible amount of apples to apples comparison, how you're doing compared to your compar competitors. Think of your client feedback in real time. Compare that and benchmark in real time with your main competitors. How that is done in each country by your demographics. Incredibly valuable piece of information. And the increased complexity today drives development towards more data-assisted decision-making. There's so much data points out there that you like to incorporate. You need to extract the key insights, and all of, that, all of this needs to happen in real time. So for that reason, when you make decisions, you need to have a good system next to you. You need to have a data assistant decision making. And fundamentally, we believe there's a new large software category about to emerge. We have lots of software that is home, you know, that is, um, yeah, that is everyone uses today. It's CRM systems, BI systems, and so on. But we believe there's a new software category that shortly companies and decision maker will all use and they have to use it. And this is a category that has grown out from the origin use clipping. That was really the first generation. The second generation was the social media analytics companies. But the third generation that is going to uh, evolve into a separate uh, software category is big data analytics based on a wide range of external data types. That can take all those digital breadcrumbs, connect the dots for you across different data types, and in real time, help you make good, intelligent, informed decisions. So think BI, but for external data, but that the technology stack is much deeper because it goes all the way down to the capture of data, enrich it, analyze it, and so on. So what are the key consequences of this? Well, to run a company will change. To run a company, you have to look beyond internal reporting system and pay attention the external data and the road ahead. And decision making will be, will be looking much more like a massive A-B testing exercise. It's in marketing and lead generation, you do a lot of A-B testing exercise. But imagine if you make a decision, say you run a global business, and then in France, you reduce the prices with 20%. And in real time, you can see the entire ecosystem reacting to your decision. And some are moving forward with new actions that you need to react to. So it's a real time, massive A-B testing exercise. And I believe that there will be a new guest of honor in the boardroom. It will be an analytics engine benchmarking your company with competitors in real time. And one of the key focuses 
It's not going to be then discussions on the historic data, but on how you are ranking on leading performance indicators. Because that's fundamentally how you are going to be successful in the business going forward. So in summary, I believe external data is enormously valuable and rich source of business insight. I believe that executives need to look beyond their internal reporting systems in order to see the whole picture and to avoid coming late to the game. I believe decision making will increasingly start to look like an A-B testing exercise. Boardrooms will be aided by real time competitive benchmark analysis. And interesting also is historical result will start to lose its current importance and boards will increasingly focus their energy on ranking well, ranking well on lead key leading performance indicators. See so if I can get some help from uh, tech behind. This is a video that quickly summarizes what I was talking about. Thank you so much.